childish things. Time to clean up, put away all those intense, iconic imaginings of childhood play, stow them with the memory. Mostly plastic dream sets, they were dear to the small boy and his sisters. A farm set, for example, with its own polystyrene ground cloth, the fort, Dearborn, wooden stockade, faux pointed log posts enameled on interlocking steel, a red and white Texaco service station, a platoon of G.I. Joe lookalikes, a Lone Ranger decoder ring, and before the last time we relocated, a large aluminum allied moving van, too. And what about the Play Store, a cardboard retail counter for which we saved boxes and cans for weeks, so much childish nagging to assure that adults opened all containers only from the bottom. So many cereal boxes, cans of vegetables, other grocery store items, carefully resealed to appear new when stocked in our pretend grocery. Line up the shell merchandise again, buy and sell, yet dream more bucolic idols. Set plastic cows pastoral to graze, teetering upon the rumpled lawn again. As the child, give no thought to the weariness of tallyings, sunburnt plowings, all the twice daily odd hour milkings. Park the car on the roof of the garage, run by that affable man with the trusty star who in those distant Bob hopeful days still offered full service at the pumps and committed repairs cheerfully in bays below. Post the cavalry, ever watchful upon the ramparts armed against feathered braves waiting to attack at dawn, painted warriors who lurked just past the couch on the rugged wall-to-wall, -wall, skulking and slouching low out of old, culturally biased molds. Deploy the modern army, too. Always two identical sides from the last good war, arrayed against their shadow selves, never asking, kill for what? Every shiny figure pressed in military green, each soldier marching or crouched murderously with a rifle ready for redemptive gore. Match displaced alphabets on a disappointing decoder ring for which you sent two Cheerios box tops and a fee to Battle Creek. Learn secret meanings coming back from the stars radio messages about virtue and a circular breakfast cereal broadcast long ago by that solitary Texas ranger and his one good live pigeon engine. Roll the scale model of the silvered moving van that carried the furniture and bric-a-brac of our little clan, first from the inner city of Brooklyn and then from Long Island suburbs to the lusher landscapes of Los Angeles. Roll the van with rear doors that always flew open upon acceleration, filled with our marbles and other precious items so inertial that they have long since been left behind, lost. Then the Kodak box camera my mighty mouse scenarios in which my sister, caped, stern, saved the world in stark black and white. And the little circular printing press. Rotate again, in your mind's eye, the pink rubber type snugged backward into gray metal cases on the central drum. Roll them with ink, then past paper. A few good turns deserve more. And that printing press going round, coming around, faster, faster, would set me up, cast me forever as a man of words and images, a movable type. Even now, restless, every day, looking round for something new to see and say.